How you doing? Welcome to another video. Let me start this one out by saying that um, declaring my love for my liver. I, I love my liver. Uh, if it wasn't for my liver, I'd be dead. So would every drinker. And the thing is, um, the liver is such a great piece of kit, right? It's tucked away far back there, working away, doing its job, filtering away most of the bad decisions that we're making. It's uh, a fantastic organ, right? Um, has all these seemingly magical properties. It can rejuvenate itself, for instance. How badass is that? But I wish it could um, be transferred across to other parts of the body. But there it is. However, and it's a big however, um, it's not designed for that siege assault, right? That constant barrage that is big alcohol, right? That is the drinks that we put in there over and over and over again, right? You're pouring this stuff in there. It's your body's trying to tell you in as many ways as it can um, that this stuff is wrong for you from day one. I remember going back to when I started drinking first and um, all that stuff with the room spinning. Do you remember that? The, the, the vomiting, the illnesses, right? You know, that's your body telling you not to do this shit. But at the same time, you've got this external pressure, this peer pressure, this pressure from your mates. And that happens to be a much bigger motivation than um, than listening to your body, right? You know, the fear of being left out from your particular peer group. That's a greater motivation. The fear of being a wimp or a loser or uh, the oddball. You know, when you're a kid, those fears that are right in the forefront of your mind, they're the things that um, push all this pain, all this... All this stuff that your body's trying to tell you, they push all that into the background. Uh, before we go on, if you're getting any help out of these videos, you can help us in return by hitting that subscribe button, liking the videos. It's not going to take you a couple of seconds. Thank you very much. Um, big alcohol, they know all this stuff, right? They play into this stuff. They know what works um, to get you hooked into drinking, um, into that drinking thinking. They know that if they can get you while you're young, it's a lot easier to get you there. And they know that once they get you there while you're young, they can keep you there. And they don't give a fuck about your liver. They don't care about your health. They don't care about any of that stuff, right? Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at this, your body also has these uh, survival mechanisms that are going to kick in um, when you're putting this stuff inside your body. And tolerance is one of those mechanisms. And this is trying to get you to, to act and to think with some kind of normality. Um, but even that has a crooked end to it because your body doesn't understand, your body doesn't know that you are actually doing this deliberately. You're doing this deliberately to try and get a fucking buzz, right? You know, the, the, the bad effects of the alcohol. You're trying to get that, right? So it's giving you an inch of rope and trying to protect you but in giving you that little bit of rope you're not getting your buzz anymore so you're actually having to take more alcohol to get that same buzz you know your body is like what the fuck so it starts to dish out a bit more tolerance um you're a little bit more protected but you don't think that way. You don't think like your body is protecting you. All you think of is the buzz. Your body is ruining the buzz. So you start to pile in more and more alcohol, right? To counteract that tolerance levels. Now, years of this abuse is going to overwhelm even the most fantastic properties of your liver, right? Um, and I'm only telling you this because I know what it's like. Luckily, uh, I copped on to it soon enough before, uh, before I, I, I really completely ruined my liver, before I completely made it into a waste ground that was uh, useless for any kind of filtering. Um, even the normal filtering that my body is supposed to rely on, you know, your, I think your liver is something like 500 different things. And when you pour alcohol in there, um, it kind of shuts off most of those things in order to deal with the peril that is the alcohol. Uh, you know, we, we fuck around with our liver at our uh, peril. So let's talk about the damage to my own liver. First of all, if you if you don't want this stuff happening to you, the only way you can guarantee it not happening to you is if you stop drinking alcohol. 
if you want some help uh, from me that's easy too we've got a free course it's called the beginner's guide to getting and staying sober you know even though i've done all kinds of damage to myself over the years with my drinking i'm happy where i am right now um i never want to go back to thinking that same way and if that's something that interests you take a look at these uh, free mindset lessons that i had to learn the hard way the links in the description below so um i drank until i was 46 so that meant uh i was drinking in one form or another uh, on one level or another for about 30 years and i knew when i stopped drinking alcohol that there was going to be some damage you know when i look back i think to myself how the fuck couldn't there be damage right 30 years of drinking any toxin is going to have some serious side effects right um and one of the reasons why i stopped was because i started feeling the pain in my right side and, and if you check out this stuff if you read anything into this stuff you know that once you're you're feeling the pain it's likely coming from inflammation and once there's inflammation the damage is likely already done so um, then it's just a matter of how much damage so i knew i had damage i didn't need to be told what i had to do i had to stop drinking alcohol now i didn't go get myself checked out at the beginning um, i stopped drinking and i thought yeah that's it you know the, this damage stop drinking alcohol and we'll see how we go from there and um probably about three years ago i started getting more pains in my liver uh and i mentioned it to the doctor so they took uh, a scan they gave me a checkup and stuff and it came back and i had mild scarring so uh like i said i knew that there was some damage and i knew that if it was scarring that it wasn't going to heal by me stopping drinking alcohol but at least it wasn't going to be made worse now, when you go in for any of these things, uh, unless they do a full check on you, unless they you know, take a sample of your liver, a biopsy, it's mainly going to be blood tests or some kind of um, imaging that the doctor is going to do. And the doctor looks at the image, and when they look at an image like that, it's an interpretation, right? And of course, it all, all depends on the, the uh, expertise or the experience of the doctor. My doctor was my GP, uh, my general practitioner, what we go for for anything so uh, but that's enough i didn't need a different interpretation another doctor might give me a different interpretation but i didn't need that because you know she was just telling me what i knew anyway it's damage i knew it was damage um i don't have a healthy liver anymore right it's a bit broken but what the fuck did i expect you know you can't treat your body like some chemical dumping ground for over 30 years and not have damage I, i'm just i feel I, i'm fortunate enough that i didn't have more damage now i've coached people um who've told me i've coached uh, one nurse in particular told me the amount of people that were coming into the intensive care unit um in their 20s they haven't even got past their 20s yet especially young women uh, and they have irreversible damage you know how fucked up is that you know nobody signs up for that when they start drinking alcohol you know and we all say well you know it, it is what it is but um, irreversible liver damage before they've even got to 30 years of age that's you know for me that's the sadness about this because um yeah not very many people care about these people, right? But I do, and I think it shouldn't happen. But there's there's a saying in the law which says, ignorance is not a defense. Uh, and the same applies here, you know? Um, you can't say, I didn't know, or I didn't understand, or I didn't realize, because cirrhosis of the liver is one of the most well-known uh, consequences of drinking too much alcohol it's one of the most well-known links so the subjective truth of um, i didn't think it would happen to me is no match for that brutal truth that reality is prone to start dishing out to people right if they push themselves too, too far so i know there's damage uh, i was stupid to drink all those years you know like i said i knew what cirrhosis was I didn't know specifically what it was but I knew you know it was one of the as I said the most common things but it is what it is 
I can't go back and undrink any of those drinks that I drank. I can't go back and undrink a single mouthful. So there's no point in crying about this stuff. You know, moving forward, I have to be careful about what I eat, you know, but it's not all bad. Um, I have what they call compensated cirrhosis. So there's a little bit of damage, but um, the other parts of my liver that are not damaged are compensating and they're, they're doing a pretty good job of keeping me filtered out. But I still have to uh, look out for myself. I've got to look after my liver. I can't treat it like I did before. You know, I think that's a, a thing when you get older anyway, but particularly when you've got damage from liver. You know, once your liver is damaged, it's not going to fix itself, but also the damage is going to come faster um, if you don't stop what you're doing. So if you're not careful. But it's way better than the alternative. I'm alive, I'm well, I'm thriving, and that's it. Take care of yourself, and I will speak to you in the next video. Hope you got something out of this. Onwards and upwards.